Good morning, Bethel, and welcome to another Convos and Coffee this week. Um, hope you get a chance to grab your coffee or your tea. There's not much in here this morning, but all the same. Um, this week we're talking about Trials to Triumph, and I'm going to share a little bit about myself this morning. There are two scriptures that speaks so much to me and about me. Um, Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you, and Ephesians 2, 10, God's masterpiece. And it took me a while to really come to terms with those, but those are the two scriptures. We go through so much in life, and they're trials to build us up, to make us stronger, to show us what God has in store for our lives. And if we just submit to that process, we will do so much better to move forward into what God has in store for us. So this morning, I'll share a little bit about where I'm coming from and some of the trials that I have faced. So 2006, I actually moved here, moved back to Ottawa from Toronto. And that's around when I got the scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11. It was closer to 2007, end of 2006, 2007, when I was just here. I was upstairs in my room, and I was just there wondering, God, what am I here for? What am I doing? Like, what did you have me come back to Ottawa for? And that scripture came to mind. Um, a couple of years later, as I was going through just finding myself and figuring out my purpose and just saying to God that I want your perfect will, not your permissive will for my life. Um, I found that things started happening in my life and I started growing. About, I think it was 2011, no, 2012, around there. So much had happened throughout my life, um, especially since I came back from Toronto, that he has brought me through so much that I actually started singing this song. As I look back over my life and I think things over, I can truly say that I've been blessed. I am a testimony. And I truly feel that everything that we go through is a way for God to use it as a testimony for how good he is how he's kept us and what he will do in your life as long as you give him the ability like the ability to do so. 2009 proved to be super significant for me because I feel like that's when things really started to hit my life really really hard. I started ask I continued asking questions about what is my purpose? What am I here for? I continue to ask questions about my family, generational curses, what was happening um, in, our, in my family and how to significantly change that. And so by 2010, one of the most unth unthinkable things happened for me. Um, my grandmother passed away and that rocked my world significantly to the point where I pretty much almost lost the desire to sing gospel, to just sing, to just be there ministering. And I thank God for those who pushed me to say, no, come out and sing at this event. Um, just be present and just encourage me through that time. By 2011, my father passed away. During that time, I was able to use the previous year experience with my grandma and turned it around and I wrote a song um, for my dad that I sang at his funeral, which helped me to realize that, you know what, that's, that's what we do, is that we turn our trials into a time of singing and a time of praise and just looking towards God. Um, time started going after that and life started to happen like really really happened for me and there were a lot of broken relationships and there were a lot of things that started happening in my life that proved to be super significant by 20 
12, I started experiencing extreme health concerns where I wasn't able to stand for very long. I was always tired. I wasn't able to see properly most of the times. Um, I was dizzy. And so by 2014, the early to mid part of 2014, I remember being at a Bible study on a Wednesday evening and prayer. And when we got to the part where we were supposed to pray to God um, and place our request before him, I remember sitting there going, God, I, I get it. I get it now. I'm here for your purpose. I'm here for ministry. But I obviously can't do that if my body is failing me, if I can't see or I'm getting dizzy while I worship lead. Um, figure out what's going on with my body and I am yours. And by the end of 2014, the doctor began to diagnose me of what was happening. And by 2015, I got my full diagnosis. And by the end of 2015, around August, in the month of August, um, I had to have brain surgery to remove a tumor. And the next two and a half to three years were no bed of roses. It was still a significant test and trials to go through and growth. But I am so happy to say that God has answered all my prayers. He has led me exactly where I need to be. By 2018, he literally said to me something so significant that... I know that he's led me to where I am today. He, say, he said, stay here and die or leave and walk into what I have in store for you. And that's exactly what I did. And so to this day, I am ministering. I am giving him glory for all that he's done in my life. And I am being present, a vessel to be used for him and for his glory and by him. So I want to just say, if you're going through something right now, or if you've gone through something and you've seen the other end, know that God wants you to look at the process of that and see that each step of the way he was with you and he will continue to be with you no matter what. Thank you for joining us. We will see you on Sunday at 1030 for service and God bless.